Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ableton Life Insider Tips. Are you aware that when you key or MIDI map a parameter within a clip, then this actually can control the parameter in any clip as long as it's selected? Let me show you what that means. So let's go into MIDI mapping mode. And here you see the start and the end of the clip can be mapped loop position and length, then the quantization, nudge, in audio clips also transpose and gain. And if I move to a MIDI clip, you see, apart from transpose and gain, it's the same for MIDI clips as well. And what's really good to map is the position and length and they're best mapped to a continuous controller. So I'm going to do that right now. And I've actually mapped it on the MIDI clip right now here. But when I move over here to another audio clip, you see it's actually the same. So let's end the mapping mode. And now we can just start to see maybe. So now if I choose another clip, And of course that also works for MIDI clips. But there you have to make sure that the, there's a note on message, so start of the note, within the chosen loop, because otherwise you don't hear anything. Like here, for example. Okay, and uh, what's very important in this case is the global quantization. Um, it's actually best set to something rather small. I had it to set to one eighth, but anything under a bar, or even maybe a bar, depending on how glitchy you want to go, can be nice. And uh, in this case, it's actually the case that, for example, here, the quantization is set to global. Um, but let's set it to, say, four bars and try that. And uh, you will see that it actually doesn't depend on the clip quantization at all, but only on the global quantization settings. Well, as you can see, you can do some pretty nice things with that already. And I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.